Hello. I've been hearing a lot about the Betaflight fork of CleanFlight lately, so I thought I'd give it a try on this ZMR250 here and see how it works. Uh, but unfortunately, it doesn't seem to be doing exactly what it's supposed to be doing, especially for angle mode. Now, you might be saying, come on, Chris, you don't fly in angle mode anyway. Yes, but it doesn't seem to be quite doing what it's supposed to be doing in rate mode either. Um, mostly it's okay in rate mode, but it's a little bit bouncy and it doesn't feel very locked in. But in angle mode, the problem is it's... Um, going like this and then it just gets worse and worse. Uh, so um, I did a bit of testing and I found that with CleanFlight 1.9 and CleanFlight 1.10 everything was fine. Then when I get to CleanFlight 1.11 things start to go very wrong and the problems that I just mentioned um, occur. Uh, I also tried of course Betaflight and in Betaflight the same problems that I saw in CleanFlight 1.11 also occur except they're not quite as bad. The, the oscillations don't grow so quickly um, and in rate mode it feels a little bit more locked in. So just before I show you some video of what I'm talking about um, I'll just go over what I've been using to do all this. So I am aware that for the more recent versions of CleanFlight you need the latest configurator which is what I'm using here. This is 1.1.0 of the configurator and the software that I've been using is, or the firmware rather, I've just been choosing them from here, so 110, Nazir, 111, Nazir, wherever that is there. Um, and the beta flight I got from here, so I think this is should be the latest one, released seven days ago, uh, 2.1.6. And when I install, or after I flash these onto my ZMR250, this is the sequence of settings that I've been doing. Um, so hopefully that should make sense there. Um, probably the sequence is not exactly important because I'm doing the exact same sequence in every single case. And I'm using, of course, the exact same hardware, um, the exact same, almost the exact same time of day, um, same weather and everything. And even everything you're about to see is all done with the exact same battery. So it's everything is the same except for the software that's running on it. So why it should be so different, I have no clue, but I thought I would just ask my smart YouTube viewers and see if anyone has any ideas about perhaps some other setting that I might not have been aware of, because I am aware that there are some things that you can't just blindly do. For example, if we select 111 and load the firm where we get a nice little list of notes to um, be aware of. So. There's a few things there, um, so you'd, some defaults have changed. So I'm, I'm aware of this, but um, I didn't see any differences in the default PIDs or anything like that. Um, so yeah, I'm not really sure. Let's let's just have a look at the video anyway and see if you can um, get any clues from that. So there you go, that's about all I can show you really. Um, hopefully somebody will have a bit of a clue as to what might be going on, because like I say, it's it's really only the, the software that's changed, nothing else has changed at all. So perhaps there is some other setting somewhere that I'm just missing. Because I see every man and his dog is having a great time with Betaflight lately, so there must be some way I can uh, fix this. Anyway, thanks for watching.